EA Sports presents NHL Hockey 96. All right, here we are again. EA Sports, NHL 96, all-star level. Season 2 Philadelphia Flyers, and we're in the Stanley Cup Final against Chicago, and we're up three games to zero. So playing at home for game four with a chance to win the cup. There we are. There we are. So you see how we got here. Uh, took Buffalo in four games. Rangers in four games. New Jersey in four games, including two shutouts. Uh, New Jersey finally scored goals against uh, Philadelphia. And now uh, two big wins and one close game. First game was only three to one. But then it was uh, double digit games. I think uh, 12, 12 to one and 11 to two. Anyway, good game so far. And uh, let's see what happens in uh, game four. These Philadelphia fans are thrilled with their team. We take you now to Philadelphia for the fourth game of the Stanley Cup Final between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Philadelphia Flyers. The Flyers can clinch the series here tonight. They can against the mighty, probably the top team in the league at this point. Tonight's goalies are Ron Hextall versus Ed Belfour. So Ronnie Hextall, 1.33 average. Belfour, 2.78. Here are the starting lineups for the two teams. It's the Legion of Doom versus those guys. Featuring Jeremy Roenick. And Peter Foda and Dmitry Iskavich versus those guys. Featuring Chris Chelios. Renberg into the zone. Oh, we tried to feed Eric. Ronick with a big shot. Yuskevich cleans it up. He's up the line, up the line. John Leclerc with a good hard shot, and they shut it down. John LeClaire going over the top. Murphy. Oh, Hextall makes the save. Takes the shot. John LeClaire shuts it down. John LeClaire says I'm trying it from behind the net. Because during the regular season, uh, Hextall got scored on twice from behind the net. Right up against the boards. Somebody would just take a really hard shot and the, the rebound would go right. Go right uh, um, off of Hextall and into the... Uh, into the net. I think uh, Bradley from uh, from from the Lightning scored like that. I can't remember who else. It might have been somebody on Edmonton. John LeClaire with a big shot. Says, I'm uh, fighting for the puck. Fighting hard for the puck. Oh, 
pog in he picked. Good hit. Oh, John LeClaire with a good shot, but uh, Belfort and nice save. Keep the pressure on. Good, good pick. Up to Renberg. John Leclerc. Oh, he doesn't get it. Gets it back, though. Good hit by Renberg. He's playing well. No uh, one-timer for Red Leclerc, but oh, through a crowd, Belfort spied that and stopped it. Oh, Renberg couldn't handle the pass. Eric's in a fight. Ooh. He says, come on. Ooh, head snapping back. Oh, down he goes. Oh, I don't know why Eric didn't skate in with his hands up. So uh, the I got punched in the face bag of ice goes to uh, Murphy and uh, Eric uh, doesn't get anything. All right, Brady boy, you got to show what you got. Oh, up to Renberg. Brindamore fighting for the puck. He says, I'm deacon, I'm juking, I'm driving. Oh, he takes his shot. Good save by Belfour. Well, these Philadelphia fans are sure cheering their squad. They're, they're not too worried about the fact that there haven't been any goals yet. Oh, good hack. Good hack, good hockey. The boat up the line, he says, where's it? Brindamore with the backhander. Oh, creep across up. Oh, great. Oh, look at that. Chicago's up one nothing. Jeremy Yonick. Assisted by number 25, Sergei Grigokrasov, and number 20, Gary Suter. So, there we go. The Chicago Blackhawks are first on the board. Krivo Krasov. Krivo Krasov brings it into the zone. And he comes right at the net. He says, I'm going to take a point blank shot. Hextall makes a good save. But the uh, puck pops right back out to Roenick. And then he makes the backhander. Hextall does some funny poke check thing from long distance. And kind of weak. But uh, good good uh, pressure by Chicago. So they're up one nothing on 8 shots. 12 shots for Philly. And they got nada. Renberg in with a hey 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 the hey ho there hey ho play was done sir all right bridge boy show what you got oh good 
Good back play. Oh, and here comes Leclerc. Oh, good pass to Brindamore. A good shot, but couldn't fool Belfort. Up to Renberg. John Leclerc with a good hit. <laughs> Renberg getting knocked out in front of the net. He's offside, but he shuts it down. Claire might get a snipe. If I'd been sharper, I could have gone to Renberg, but. So 29% on the power play, they're now number one. Number one. Oh, Eric couldn't elevate. The Renberg. Kriva cross off again. Back to Suter. Axtell makes the save and then takes the shot. Comes right back to him, he says, I'm going out front, and there he goes! John Leclerc with a big push and a big shot! So there it is, tied up. Only 3.54 left in the first period. John Leclerc chasing hard on the puck. He gets it. He says, okay, I'm going out in front. And then he gives a big push. And that gives lots of power to the shot. Point blank. Blocker side. Belfort couldn't stop it. And uh, there you go. John Leclerc evens things up. 22 shots to 11. And it's 1-1 one, one with 354 left in the first. And these Philadelphia fans, they haven't stopped cheering. They didn't stop cheering when uh, they were down by one. Oh, another good chance for John Leclerc. Nice pass from Yuskevich after good work to get the puck on the boards. Belfour hangs on to it and says, I don't, I'm not sure what to do. He's gave it with a shot and he shuts it down. Belfour all over the ice there is some kind of, some kind of tank mechanism making a move.
Got hit by Sabota. Oh, just pockety picked before Eric could get it. Oh, John LeClaire gets it back and he. Oh, good shot, but better save. LeClaire says, I'm shooting, I got the fever. Says Eric, says, go with it, John, go with it. Renberg says, through a crowd, through a crowd. And then he shuts it down. They're buzzing. They're buzzing uh, like bees around that hive. But After the first period, the score is Philadelphia 1, Chicago 1. All right, so good goals from both teams. And uh, happy to see it. 1-1 one, one after the first, 28 shots to 11. Let's see what the second period gives us. Renberg getting a shot. Good hit by Hextall. Shot it right at him. Eric fighting to get out in front. Good opportunity. Shot it right at him. Oh, you scavenge gets it back. Out to Leclerc. Well, you scavenge with a big hit, and then he's up all alone. Oh, what a pass. What a shot. So I think the crowd cheer says it all. That was just a great play. Iskevich picks it up and uh, he's all alone. Nobody around. But uh, Eric's a little behind the play. Chelios is coming after Yuskevich. There's, But then he sort of bails on that idea a little bit. And Yuskevich says, okay, I can get a pass off. And then Suter's back is turned to Eric. And Eric just lets it go from between the circles. And uh, beats Belfour on the blocker's side. Because Eric's the big slapper! Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for number 88, Eric Lindros of the Philadelphia Flyers. He's the big slapper! And he just went blocker side. So there you go. Two to one on 32 shots. 18.03 left in the second. Hextall lucky he didn't get the delay of game there. Good steal by Yuskevich and he's up again all alone. Oh, that was another good shot, but shot it right at him. Good pass though. 
Same kind of pass. Let it go just before the defenseman got there. Got it out there. Good save. Good save. Couldn't get the classic done. Beautiful. Eric got knocked down, got back up again. Yuskevich gave him the puck and he put it away. All right, so three to one on 35 shots. So Eric has been knocked to the ice. Renberg got knocked to the ice. Let's uh, let's back that up and see how that happened. So I think, uh, well, there was a lot going on because Roanick got knocked down, but then Suter comes through, and he knocks down Eric, and then he knocks down Renberg. A couple of big plays, but then everybody forgets about Yuskevich. He's the one with the puck down in the corner of the circle. And he's waiting. He says, oh, Eric's getting back up. Eric's getting back up. And then there he is. And Eric says, okay, I'm going the same blocker side. Because Eric's the big slapper. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for number 88, Eric Lindros of the Philadelphia Flyers. He's the big slapper. And he just went blocker side again. So there you go. Three to one. 35 shots. 16.08 left in the second period. Couple of dandy passes by Yuskevich. Renberg's in. Oh, good shot. Renberg gets it back again. Over to Eric, but he couldn't get the shot off. And then Renberg shuts it down. So this uh, Philadelphia t uh, crowd is just buzzing. They're eager to see their team get the next one. But a crucial goal because um, if Chicago gets it, they're only down by one. And if uh, Philadelphia gets it, then they're up by three. So the two goal lead is healthy, but not uh, secure against a team like Chicago. Oh, Hextall with a nice save, and then he takes the shot. Suter picks it up at center ice. Renberg cleans it up, and he gets it into the zone. Eric with the backhander. Oh, and then Renberg with the backhand, but uh, Belfort got back up and stopped it. Good save. John LeClaire into the zone. Oh, he should have gone to Renberg. Hextall takes the shot. Out to John LeClaire, he's up the line, up the line, juking and driving. Oh, out to Yuskevich. Get it to the powerhouse that is Dmitry Yuskevich. John LeClaire, wide, wide, sir. Eric picks it up. He gets it back into the zone, he pauses. Out in front. Oh, and then he shoots it wide. Shuts it down. Good save. Good save. Well, thank you, Eric. That's very kind of you to say. 
So another tight game, three to one. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Belfort, I need to park. Thanks, sir. Oh, Eric's stuck on the back end. Couldn't get it by. Oh, Chelios gets by. And then he gets back in again. Yuskevich gets it out. And then he's up and he's into the zone. And then he shuts it down. Spinning around the net like a maniac. He's skating around the net going, hey, Hanrahan! Hey, Hanrahan! Oh, good pass to Renberg. But uh, Belfort Sharp, these uh, Philadelphia fans, I think they just abandoned all uh, all food and drink, and they're just uh, they're just play. Oh no! Was that who was in there hooking away like Matt Eric? Eric Lindros, two minutes for hooking. Any more than 15 hooks, you're going to get the call, Eric. you got to be careful. All right, Brittany Boy, you got to steady the ship and just show what you got. Okay, coach. There's uh, Sabota with a good clear. Leclerc gets it out. He says, I'm getting out front. Big backhander. Shuts it down. Chipping away at their power play time. Oh, Brindamore with a nice pass to Leclerc, but Belfort gobbled it up. So half this power play gone. And Hextall clears. Yuskevich going down. Oh, he gets it. To Brindamore. Chucks it into the corner. Eric says. Oh, Yuskevich. And then he's up the line. Great pass to Brindamore for the shot, but uh, Belfour was there. All right, good shift, Rod. Well, thank you, Eric. That's very kind of you to say. Big backhand. Oh, Leclerc gets it back. Gets knocked down. Good pass. Oh, Renberg with the steal. Good hack. Good hack, John Leclerc. Out to Renberg. Oh, he couldn't do it. Oh, I think he got a penalty for hacking. Philadelphia penalty to number 23. Samoda. Samoda. Two minutes for elbowing. All right. All right, Eric, you guys steady the ship and we can get thing. Okay, coach. Oh, Roenick. Oh, good, good play by Leclerc. And he says, all right, slinging it. Eric says, okay, I'm going to. Come down, try and make a hit. 
Oh, you scam bitch, and there he is, he's up the line. Eric coming with. Yuskevich gets it back, he draws the penalty. Back to Leclerc. Eric's going to try and get back for this. He does, he gets it. They should have an extra mana. Oh! Ah, oh, die! Die! Chicago penalty Dad, to number daughter. 27, Jeremy Roenick. Two minutes for hooking. All right, then. Four on four. Off the post! Oh, he beat Belfort, but he couldn't beat the post. He uh, went blocker side that time again. Alright, so a power play for Philadelphia now. Ooh, big shot. Up to Sabota, but he says, I'm into the zone. Who's coming with? Who's coming with? One minute left in the second period. He gets it back again. Oh, big shot by uh, Eric. Oh, Chelio shorthanded. Oh, but he's into the zombie zone and he gets knocked down. Oh, well. After the second period, the score is Philadelphia 3, Chicago 1. So, Philadelphia with awesome pressure at the end of that second period, but they couldn't get that fourth goal. So, Chicago is still, you know, one within being one within. And uh, so, down by two. 19 shots to 50. So, Philadelphia has been pounding uh, Belfort with the puck, but only three times did they get it by. And uh, so Chicago is still easily in this game. What a John LeClaire, he couldn't get the one-timer off. Oh, and then he tried to snipe. Oh, Renberg playing hard. Yuskevich up into the zone. John LeClaire with a good hard shot. Bextall takes it away, and then he takes the shot. Pops out to De Leclerc, he tried to snipe. He's got an angle on Nichols. Oh, he tried to go to Eric, but it didn't work. Oh, a pocket he picked. Oh, good hack by uh, Yuskevich. John Leclerc is in there for it. He says, I'm getting back out in front. I'm going to try and stay. Oh, he shot it right at him. Good pressure, though. So, Chicago needs three goals to keep their season alive. Nope, they need four goals to keep their season alive. 110 goals in the playoffs for Eric Lindros. All right, so that's four to one. That probably puts paid to the whole situation, but uh, Chicago could come back. But let's have a look at Eric. Let's uh, let's back it up. So Eric wins the faceoff. Gets back. A little deeper than a normal classic. He sort of gets hooked a bit. Who's coming? Suter's coming. But not soon enough. Eric just says, I'm going to challenge Glove. 
because Eric's the big slapper. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for number 88, Eric Lindros of the Philadelphia Flyers. He's the big slapper, and he just went glove hand side again. So 4-1, 57 shots, 16-19 left in the game. And these uh, Philadelphia fans just gone wild. Oh, John LeClaire missed the puck shot. He missed the puck. Good hit. You gave it, gets it, gives it to Eric. Eric's up in the line. He says, I'm turning, I'm getting out in front, I'm trying to snake. Renberg in there. Renberg hits Suter. Eric gets it back. He's in. He says, Don Bell. Oh, tried block aside, side, but couldn't elevate. Belfort with another good save. Oh, great play by Svoboda. Svoboda again. Oh, John LeClaire made a hit, but uh, Puck was already gone. Oh, icing. I did not realize that. Okay, so Chicago is tough. They're uh, they're breaking up the plays again, but Philadelphia is getting the shots still, just not great quality to them. Renberg back into the zone. Oh, tried to play it to Eric. Couldn't do. Oh, he loosened it up again, but there's Roenick. Oh, I think Sabota blocked that. Oh, Eric misses the shot. LeClaire gets it back. Oh, these passes are going wayward. Renberg trying to get it back in the zone. Oh, big hit on Eric. But he gets the... just knocks it loose. Oh, and then LeClaire gets it to him. Backhander. Murphy out of the zone and into the zone, but then he passes it back out of the zone and somebody's in the zombie zone. They couldn't uh, play the puck. Over to Renberg for a shot. Ooh, Eric back to get the icing on that one. So uh, good, good pressure by Chicago. Um, Philadelphia trying to break up the plays, but they're, Chicago's passing the puck a lot. Oh, good hit. Philadelphia penalty to number two, Dmitry Yushkevich. Two minutes for tripping. Come on, it was just a good hit. All right, Eric, you guys stay in the ship and uh, do the thing. Okay, coach. Oh, Jar Jar Dan is a chucker. What a pass! Hextall says, I'm taking this shot. I'll clear the puck. Eric says, I'll get it. Ooh, Belfour is sharp. And then he gives it to Chelios to make the break. Good hit. Textile says, not again. Philadelphia penalty to number 37, Eric Desjardins. Two minutes for tripping. So the backup gets a tripping penalty. And now it's uh, a, a two-player disadvantage. All right, Eric, you really got to study the ship. Okay, coach. Coach is nervous. His, his voice goes really high. Oh, good. Good save. Another good save. Dykehouse plays it up. 
over to Belfort. Eric's Eric's messing it up. There we get one back. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh, John Leclerc couldn't get the one-timer off, but he's going to get out in front, try and snipe. Going to try it again. Good play by Sabota. Just waited for it, and then he's up. John Leclerc with a good shot. He's over chasing down the puck. Picks it up, says, all right, I'm getting out in front. I'm going to try to snipe. Eric fighting for it, too. Good hack. Good hack. What happened to Murphy there? Hey, see that was some guy kind of aneurysm. I don't know. Oh, good save by Belfort. Belfort's uh, keeping a minute. They got to get some uh, production to, in behind that, but. Uh... Oh, lovely pass. What a shot, but Belfour was right there. Oh, big hit. Rolling it coming in. Puck comes right to Sabota. Oh, he gets pocket he pick. Lindberg takes it back though. John Leclerc with a great shot, but uh, Belfort, man, stopping everything. Trying to get that out of the crease. Oh, he gets pocket he picked. Eric takes it back off for Murphy and then goes for the snipe. Can't do it. Here comes Suter. Here comes Roenick. Oh, great play by Yuskevich to pick that up. Another big shot by Eric, but Belfour gloved it. But getting the pressure back on, breaking up their plays in our zone and getting the pressure back. Chelios is having a good game. Ooh, offside. You skate, it's just missed picking that off. But uh, the clock is the enemy now for Chicago. One minute left. Oh, there you go. Offside. Well, that was an interesting play. They'll just let the clock run out. Well, there they go. They've won the Stanley Cup. Undefeated season and undefeated in the playoffs. Now they're going to skate it around. Look at that. Oh, and then there's the crowd is being demolished by some wall that suddenly appeared in the, uh, in the arena.
fucking because of the, and the fireworks are going off and everybody look at them they're carrying that cup around go eric pass it around lads pass it around all the names have disappeared off the crazy stuff yay yay and apparently the the backup goalie doesn't get to come out on the ice at least if he is he's not dressed as a the final a score is chicago one philadelphia four the flyers so, have won the stanley cup championship yes they have won the stanley cup um didn't lose a game played hard in this game chicago scored first and uh, philadelphia came back with four unanswered to win the game and take the cup so 16 games straight in the uh in the playoffs throwing uh, two octopus onto the octopi onto the ice but yeah that was a good hard game uh, lots of pressure the whole game breaking up chicago's plays they scored a really good goal but uh philadelphia they answered back fairly quickly tied it up before the end of the first period and uh and then they were the only ones to score for the rest of the game so four unanswered goals after Chicago broke the ice. Here are the three stars of tonight's game. So no surprise that Eddie Belfort gets uh, three stars in the loss because he, he stopped a lot of shots. Eric Lindros first star, Dimitri Escavik second star. Um, I would give honorable mention to John LeClaire for the tying goal at the start with a big snipe. Let's check the player stats. So Eric got three goals. No assists, nothing shorthanded, nothing on the power play. Yuskevich, two assists, John LeClaire a goal. So only three people in on the points, but uh, they were important goals. And John LeClaire, like I said, that tying goal was a beauty snipe. Let's have a look. Ronnie Hextall, one goal against. On 26 shots, so 962. That's right around his average. But um, that was a solid game. He made a lot of stops. He made a couple of good stops on a, um, a, when they had uh, five on three. The visiting team, Belfort, he played the whole game. Gave up four goals. Four goals on 72 shots for 945. So he had a fine game. Lots of saves, but his uh, team could only put one goal behind him um, in support. So that's uh, that's unfortunate for him. Have a look at the players. So Jeremy Euronik with the goal and assists go to Kriva Krasov and Suter. Um, it was a good play. And uh, what do you do? You know, they, they broke the shutout, but... Ronnie Hextall will probably still be the best goalie in the playoffs. Let's have a look at the game stats. So four, Philadelphia four, Chicago one. 72 shots to 26. So uh, not three times as many shots, but well over double. 5.5% shooting because of all the saves that uh, Belfort made. 3.8% shooting for Chicago. What about the power play? Zero for two on the power play. Four minutes, only four shots. Not that great, but um, biggest part of the game was uh, was even strength play. Zero for three, seven and a half minutes of power play time. Same four shots. So um, in more than double or around double the time, they, they got the same number of shots. No shorthanded goals, no penalty shots. Uh, 37 face-offs to 25, so 12 more face-off wins, 104 body checks, so back up over 100 in this game, so Philadelphia was really hitting, and you could see that when they were stifling them and breaking their flow, they uh, would, especially on the power play, fighting off the power play, they're making a lot of hits. So 63, it was a little low for Chicago, they were doing better than that the other game. And uh, 11 minutes in the attacking zone to 36. So that's probably the most in the whole series against Chicago. 36 minutes in the attacking zone. So they had uh, they had 25 
more than a period of time extra in the attacking zone. Coach, what do you think? Oh, well, I couldn't be more proud of my team to come out in the game four and take it in front of their own fans. It was a hard game. Chicago scored first and they played really tough, but uh, we came back with four unanswered goals. We made a lot of hits. Their passing was outstanding, 82% but it didn't really result in a lot of chances. Um, maybe a lot of that passing was happening in the center ice zone instead of in the, in our, in the attacking zone. And uh, they didn't make as many hits as we did. So they weren't taking the puck off us the same way, but uh, 36 minutes in the attacking zone to 11. That's 25 minutes extra time in the attacking zone. You know, it said we just, uh, we just, just, Outstanding. I can't. I'm, I'm just lost for words. We've won the Stanley Cup. I'm, so much time in the attacking zone to put the puck on the net, put the puck in the net, score the goals, win the game, and win the cup. Oh, coach, I can hear how excited you are. And that's, uh, you know, it's the truth. The team, they're going to be celebrating in the locker room. They'll probably be, uh, there There could be candy bars and uh, donuts and, and probably uh, some soda. And uh, everybody's going to uh, have a chance to see their name on the cup after it gets engraved. And that'll be a wonderful thing for them. Okay, so that was a great game. A, a great way to finish the series. Chicago didn't lie down. They played tough. They scored first. Eddie Belfour did the best he could to stop. He got third star, but your first star was Eric Lindros. Your second star was Dmitry Yuskevich. As I said, third star, Ed Belfour. And that's the Stanley Cup. All right, so um, made it all the way through. Didn't lose a game in the regular season. Didn't lose a game in the playoffs. But there were some tough ones for sure. Let's have a look at the awards. So Eric Lindros, most valuable player. He gets the Hart Memorial Trophy. He had 684 points in 84 games, 632 goals, 52 assists. He was a plus 624, 83 power play goals and 38 shorthanded goals, 19.5% shooting. So well-deserved as the most valuable player. Then the Art Ross Trophy for the points leader in the regular season. His uh, 684 points was tops of the league. And uh, we saw that before that he had uh, 632 goals and 52 assists. Dmitry Iskevich was the best defenseman. He had six goals, 142 assists, 148 points, plus 639. No power play goals, no shorthanded goals, but uh, and only 4.9% shooting. But that plus 639. Outstanding. Then uh, the Frank Selkie Trophy for best defensive forward goes to Eric Lindros as well. Um, with his uh, 38 shorthanded goals. Ronnie Hextall, best goalkeeper. So I think this one, yeah, the Vezina I think is for the regular season. But uh, might be for the whole season. But 84 wins in 84 games, 35 shutouts. His uh, goals against average was 0.86, save percentage 96.3. So what a season. Then best uh, goals against average was again for, uh, for being under one, that 0.86. So he wins the Jennings as well. The Calder Memorial, Paul Correa for the Mighty Ducks is the best rookie. He had uh, 37 goals and 46 assists in his 84 games. They didn't make the playoffs, I don't think. Um, he was a minus six, four power play goals, four shorthanded goals, and a shooting percentage of 20.9. So 83 points in his rookie season. Um, and almost 40 goals, so that's remarkable. And he's not a very big player, but he was very quick and very talented, uh, very, very good with his stick, very accurate. So the President's Trophy for the best record 
in the season goes to Philadelphia. And the Con Smythe for the most valuable player in the playoffs goes to Eric Lindros. He played 16 games, had 110 goals, 11 assists for 121 points. He was a plus 101. 11 power play goals and 10 shorthanded goals and an 18% for shooting. Then for the most three-star selections goes to Eric Lindros. And uh, we went through his stats before. They don't tell you how many three-star selections he had, but uh, he probably got 50% of the... Uh, the three, the, the sort of uh, first star mostly, but sometimes second star. Ronnie Hextall would be up there too. Then the Campbell Trophy for the West Conference champions goes to uh, Chicago. The Prince of Wales Trophy for the East Conference champions goes to Philadelphia. And the Stanley Cup goes to Philadelphia. Undefeated all the way through. And uh, Ronnie Hextall as well. He had uh, 2, 3, 6, 8, 10, 11 assists in uh, 16 games. So uh, that was pretty good. He didn't get a point a game like he did in the regular season. But um, he contributed. He made some passes that, uh, especially out to Leclerc. So... Ronnie Hextall, in addition to uh, winning the Vezina, he uh, he had he contributed on the scoring front too. So there you go. Unfortunately, the way that this works, we can't go back and look at the schedule and see how the the regular season games went once you've finished the you're into the playoffs. But uh, regardless, good season, good playing by uh, the the Flyers and uh, all good fun for sure and uh, I I really enjoyed the Chicago series because those were not easy games even the blowouts uh, you had to work hard to get there so they're a good team to play against Detroit is a good team to play against uh, New York so in the playoffs they face some good teams Buffalo the goaltending there can be really strong so the first game was close after that it kind of faded away um or no there was only one close game i think in that anyway uh not but as you would expect right to the best team playing the last team that made the playoffs um is not a surprise that you beat them the rangers that series was tough new jersey um a couple of blowouts couple of shutouts but um there was one close game there and then with Chicago, there were two close games, the first and the last. Okay, good. So uh, there we go. Stanley Cup champs are the Philadelphia Flyers. All right, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, I'll get all of these uh, games posted and... Uh, I don't think I'm through the regular season yet in getting them onto to uh, YouTube. But anyway, I hope people enjoyed that. If you did, uh, give a like, subscribe maybe, and uh, and uh, leave a comment to say who's who, what team you'd like uh, you'd like to see win the Stanley Cup. Um, I'm a Toronto Maple Leafs fan, and it's been a very long time, and. Uh, been a very long time for any Canadian team as well, but came very close this year with the Edmonton Oilers. They managed to take it to seven games, uh, but couldn't beat uh, couldn't beat Florida in the game seven. But regardless, until next time, keep your heads up, sticks on the ice, watch for the pass. We'll catch you here next time. Thanks for stopping by.